Hey, what's up guys? Aaron here from Clever Programmer, and today I just want to make a really, really quick video about primitive data types in Python. So let's get started. Alright, so primitive data types, what the heck does that even mean? So first of all, there's a thing called data types in Python, which is um, just a way that the computer can understand data. So there's different types of data that the computer needs, like it needs numbers for math, it needs sentences to display stuff to the screen, and it needs um, a couple other things, like there's a long list, but there are four primitive data types that I want to go over, okay? Four that come packaged with Python immediately. They're called primitive because they're the most um, primitive, like elementary, base level kind of data types that you can use, like literally just numbers, like the number one, the number two, the number 3.5, or um, the word hello, or something like that, just something very, very basic. There's not like a crazy amount of stuff in there, okay? And then um, one more called Boolean, which sounds really weird, it sounds kind of funny, Boolean, B-O-O-L-E-A-N, but let me just type these out so you can see. So there are, um, first of all, there's numbers. Uh, I said there's four types. So there's numbers, this is actually split into integers, okay? Um, then there's floats, which is just short for floating point numbers. And floating point numbers are just decimal numbers because of the decimal point floats around. That's why they're called floats. A little bit weird. Um, and then there are strings, which are just sentences, okay? And then, then there are booleans, which are just um, a yes, no kind of thing, true or false. So those are the four primitive data types. I'm just gonna go over this. So integers are gonna be one, two, three, four, five. You can just uh, do math of these, like one plus one equals two and whatnot. Uh, you have floating numbers. So this is like 2.5, uh, negative 0 0.3778, like numbers like those, like very, very um, exact numbers. And then you have strings. So strings, I said, are just like sentences, um, but they're always enclosed in Quotation marks, that's all you need to know for right now, okay? Quotation marks, so you have like, um, yo, how's it going? Like that, it's just a sentence. Um, but it's enclosed in quotation marks. So um, it's a little bit, the distinction is a little bit weird. I'm actually gonna have a video that ex explains strings more. Um, but uh, if you have four like this, this is not a number, this is a string, okay? So this is a string, oh, that's all you have to know. If it has double quotation marks, or single quotation marks is just a string. That's all you need to know. When you're actually coding on the computer, just know those are strings. And then Booleans, last, are just like this. You only have two options, true and false, just like that. And uh, what these are is they just evaluate um, to, or um, that, that was a big word. Well, what they are is it just allows us to be like, okay, should I run this chunk of code? Yes or no. Should I run this chunk of code? Yes or no. And that's why Booleans. You, you need a yes, no kind of scheme in coding instead of just numbers, okay? So that's um, everything. So strings can be anything you want. Floats can be every number that exists. Integers, every number that exists. But Booleans can only be true or false, okay? And these are the four main primitive data types in Python. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I'll be going um, into more detail on Python in the next few videos. But uh, thank you for watching. And yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you next time.